Sorry, Brecha Yahweh, Brecha Hawashai, Kala Yahweh, Brecha Hawashai, 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 Brecha the Hebrew is like that consists of the so-called Negro, Latino, the Native American Indians, and those in line of go back to the Shoah tribe of Israel, due to the scattering amongst the nature of the four corners of the earth. It is from Hardy Cough for the Great Millstones, the Los Angeles Camp. Back when the lesson, Abu Nahr Rasadar will willing to be edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by saying, I was shy, by saying, I was Kakadash, which is the Holy Spirit. All right, I want to say, Twadi Yahweh, Twadi Yahweh Shai, for. And the spirit on me to do this lesson, all right? It's basically uh, I do Israel, all right? That uh, and basically this video is inspired by the Elder Apostle uh, Gabar video. I forgot which one it was. <laughs> um, Uh, it could be this one. I see brutal form of judgment coming through to the fall teacher. All right. I think that this video, if I can remember correctly, all right. All right, title of this video is uh, you reject the Holy Spirit. All right, because two thirds of Israel, so called Negro, Negro Latino, Black Native Americans, Indians, y'all not gonna uh, get this. All right, it's understanding. All right, what we're speaking, what we're breaking down. Okay, it wasn't meant for you to to get it. All right. Especially uh, uh, those that call themselves uh, Hebrew is white, but are not uh, speaking uh, on the same understanding of the scripture as we are, a great Muslim, all right? Especially the, uh, the MOTB, all right, being the RFID ship, all right? And, and various other doctrines like the uh, hell. All right, you know, burn forever. That's not true. All right, so those things are, are part of, of them rejecting the Holy Spirit, right? Because the Holy Spirit is the one that gives us the understanding. All right, <laughs> get that real quick. All right, I'll start at John 14 and 15. And I will pray the Father, it's the house I speak, and, and he shall give you another comforter. All right. All right, because your house I had to go on the cross. Okay. Or this is after he went on the cross. I can't remember the timeline. By the way, he was already going to be uh, departed. All right. The comforter is the Holy Spirit. All right. Howard Kakadash. That he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. All right, all right, because the Holy Spirit something you can touch or feel, all right?
the spirit that uh in the inner working in your mind. Alright, it gives you an understanding and the speak this word. Alright. Uh jump down. Twenty-five. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, all right, the Holy Ghost, when the Father will send in my name, all right, that's the only thing. Yahweh, with the Heavenly Father's name, all right, my Hashem in the name Yahweh Shai. All right, cause I, I, the uh, only way to the Father is through Yahweh Shai. All right, and then after Yahweh Shai is by Hashem in the name of the Ha. The Spirit Kadash, holy. All right. The Spirit is holy. All right. With the Holy Spirit, which is the Comforter. But then, in my name, He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. See, so these guys that don't speak. It's hundred percent true. Don't um be, don't um say that the uh RFID ship is the MOTB Revelation thirteen that, that the Holy Spirit is not in them. All right, the truth is not in them. Okay, that uh, at seven and fifty one, the stiff neck and uncircumcised in the heart and ere you do always resist the Holy Spirit. As your father did, so do ye. Why? Because uh, their mind wasn't circumcised. Mm -hmm. All right? Which mean you have to do away of what you uh, know, all right? That you were taught of from this world, from this society. All right? That's right there. I'm circumcised. You got to circumcise your mind. All right? You got to peel back. And cut off the thing that you have learned, all right, growing up in this place, in America, Babylon, or, or various other countries, you know, whatever you are coming up out of, all right? You dip neck and unstrengthened and heart with your mind and ear, right? You do always resist the Holy Spirit, like your father did, so let's look at the word resist. Strong's G four ninety six, Antipipto, Antipipto. I to adverse, oppose, strive against. All right, basically being a uh, resistance against the Holy Spirit, basically the the teaching of truth that can give you the understanding. All right, and a lot of these guys have resisted the Holy Spirit. Okay, ultimately wasn't meant for them to get it. Say, as your father did, though, so do also, right? Look at this. Back in the time of uh, uh, Moses, so let's read this. This is after the 32, like right, after the calf, right? We were building the calf, we came down, all right, from the, uh, from the mountain, after 40 days, 40 nights. 
um, after the 39, the Lord, the how about I tried to say unto Moses, I had seen the people, and behold, it is a stiff necked people. Now, therefore, let me alone that my wrath might. Yeah, so Israel been going off, man. They've been stiff necked and hard headed. All right. And even now. Yeah, it's Second Chronicle thirty and eight. It said, "Be now, be ye not stiff naked as your father were, but yield yourself unto the Lord Yahweh to outside and enter into His sanctuary, which He hath sanctified forever, and serve the Lord Yahweh to outside your power, that the fierceness of His wrath may turn away from you." Right, because if you don't uh, 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 serve the Lord Yahweh, He's going to destroy you. All right. That's why two thirds of the people are gonna get destroyed. I thought these false prophets gonna get destroyed. All right, they they, they all resist the Holy Spirit. All right, to not to get the the teaching and the understanding of the true meaning and and, 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 and understanding the breakdown of these scriptures. All right, the understanding of these prophecies. Okay. Uh. For if you turn again unto the Lord your heart by the outside, the brethren and your children shall find compassion before them that lead them captive, so that they shall come again into this land. For the Lord your heart by the outside, your power is gracious and merciful, and will not turn away his face from you, if ye return unto him. These so are all we gotta return unto him. That's all part of our repenting. All right? In transgressing the law no more. Okay. Yeah, it's very wide, 17 and, and 23. But they obeyed not, neither inclined their ear, but made their neck stiff, that they might not hear nor receive instruction. Okay? Yeah, that's our people. All right, let me get some more preached up. That's the Ezekiel 2. And, uh, and one. And he said unto me, Son of me, and stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee, and the Spirit will enter unto me. When he spake unto me, and, and stepped me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And, and he said unto me, Son of me, I send thee to the children of Israel, right? You throw call Negro, like you Native American, to a rebellious nation, right? Because they're, they're, they're striving against the Lord. Not, they don't want to follow his law, statute, commandment. All right? That has rebelled against me. They and their father have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. All right? And to this day as well. All right? For they are impudent, children stiff-hearted. I do then to thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus say the Lord Yahweh. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, and yet shall know that there has been a prophet among them. All right. So we still got to deal with you like the scripture we commanded. Whether you're going to uh, hear it or not. 
ready to get with the program or not, we still got to do our job. Because it'll be no excuse. All right. Uh, uh, they, oh, we didn't know. Uh, no proper told her no. Then, cause when that time when the hell come, I thought it was going to be the hopeful year of Jacob Trouble 2024. When that time comes, you're going to know the prophet was among you. All right, because we forewarn you of these things to come. All right, we forewarn you of the uh, RFID trip being uh, the MOTV in Revelation 13, and they're going to make it mandatory. Now, when it do happen, you can't say you wasn't told. You was. But you are stiff hearted, all right? And you're, you're uh, rebellious. All right, Scripture say rebellion is that the sin of witchcraft. And what the Scripture say, I suffer not a witch to live, so you're going to be destroyed. All right? Keep going. That's right, 7 and 11, but they refused to hearken and pull away the shoulder and stop their ear that they should not hear. Yeah, they made their heart, their mind, at an adamant stone, let they should hear the law and the word which the Lord Yahweh, outside the host, had sent in his spirit by the former prophet. All right. Therefore came a great draft from the Lord Yahweh, outside the host. And, and, and a wrath is coming, all right? That's why the Lord is going to bring judgment, all right? They're going to uh, begin at his uh, sanctuary, those that know that they are Israel, all right? We did the Holy Spirit, all right? They're going to get destroyed for not fully falling in line with the breakdown and the understanding of these scriptures, all right? Yep, it's Jeremiah 4 and 4 regarding the uh, being circumcised in the mind. Jeremiah 4 and 4, circumcise yourself to the Lord your heart by the side and take away the foreskin of your heart, which is the mind, you men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Let my spirit come forth like a like fire and burn that none can quench it because the, of the evil of your doings. All right, so you got to uh, circumcise your mind. Okay. Jeremiah 59, that day the Lord Yahweh shall try to hold, they shall thoroughly glean of the remnant of Israel as a vine, turn back thy hand as a grape gatherer into the baptist. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord Yahweh shall try is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Therefore, I am full of the fear of the Lord Yahweh Shai. I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken. The age with him that is a full day. All right. So basically, the Lord is... Um, they're gonna do away with you people that to have a why because he set you up to have your ears and your mind uncircumcised. Alright.
Yeah, I'm going to go to the point of this one. It starts Roman 2 and... Uh, 29, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. All right, because it wasn't about the outward appearance. All right, having the man actually having his penis uh, searching star. All right, you got to remember these Israelite was in a Gentile state of mind. It was about circumcising the, the mind first. All right, spiritual first, and then the, uh, the body will follow. All right, then in circumcision, but the but he is a Jew with this one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart, which the mind and the spirit, and not in the letter who prayed is not a man but a Yahweh. Okay, so it's about being circumcised spiritually first. All right, but these niggas ain't doing that. Okay. Why? Right, because uh, what did David then make they uh, uh, ear fat they can't hear, clear, and make their eyes heavy that they can't see? So it was already set up for you niggas not to receive this uh, truth, all right? And understand this. Okay. One, seven and fifty-one, right? NLT. It said, "You stubborn people, you are heathen at heart, right? Because the mind is as the way of a heathen, right? Ultimately, he thought Edom got you thinking like him, because he the one that set up the society and the societal norm and the education, and all that. So you are, uh, uh." Operating life as a heathen, okay? And death to the truth, must you forever resist the Holy Spirit? That's what your ancestor did, though, and so do you. All right, and recover that, all right? The ancestor, they was on the same shit. All right, we did the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I just want to do a quick video on that, you know, concerning... Uh, stiff neck and uncircumcised heart, rejecting the Holy Spirit. All right, because it was set up for them to not receive this truth. All right, at the end of the day, they're a rebel. All right, they're rebellious. All right, and they're striving against the Lord. So the Lord is just going to have to do away with them. All right, pursuing the scriptures and pursuing the prophecies. All right, so with that, shalom.